Hello everyone, my name is Natalie Armstrong Motown. Thank you very much for watching today. And I have with me a special guest, uh, Susan Guthrie. She's in Chicago, US of A, and I'm in Normandy, but it just doesn't make any difference because of technology. And Susan, I know that you've built a couple of different businesses that really harness the power of technology. Um, tell me a little bit about the training programs and, and how that works. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited because I have my entire mediation practice and in fact, my entire training program, everything I do is through an online medium these days. So it doesn't matter that I'm in Chicago or that I was in California before that or New York and Connecticut before that. I can work with clients and do work with clients all around the world because I work through the online platform. And it's been such a wonderful thing for me that I've turned it into a training program and I now teach other professionals how to very quickly, it's a two hour pr training program, and at the end of it, uh, professionals should be ready to implement an online platform into their existing mediation practice, which you know really lets them expand their range of clients or prospective clients to, like me, the entire world. No longer do we have those geographical constraints. And there are a lot of other benefits that I've experienced now that I've been having my practice online for such a long time uh, that I think really make it worthwhile to at least consider adding the the option of having the online platform having an online platform i think makes some people nervous in that they think it will be an impersonal exchange and and for such a, a, a personal interaction like mediation we think that it's going to detract but i when i talk to people who have used online services they tell me that one the convenience of it supersedes any of those fears. They love the convenience of it. And two, in fact, it doesn't depersonalize the process in any way, shape, or form. No, in fact, I have found in some ways it almost enhances it because they say 85% of our communication is visual and the vast majority of that is our facial expression. And when you are in an online platform as we are here, the focus is actually on the face. So my clients, when they're going through a mediation and they're expressing themselves through expressions on their face or with gestures with their hands, it's actually quite visible and almost amplified because they can see each other directly. Whereas in a room, in a conference room, they might be looking at the mediator instead of it, each other when something's going on, uh, or they might not be focused on the other person. They might be writing something down. But in an online mediation, all of the participants are visible at all times. And so there's actually, in many ways, an enhanced uh, enhanced communication. There's also, you know, as I'm sure you've noticed doing interviews online and working with people online, there are ways that you can express emotion without facial expression, things like leaning into the camera or using your hands. You have to put your hands up higher. You know, if I'm moving my hands down here, all you see is my hair moving. You don't see, but if they're up here doing this, you can see that. And so it qu people quickly adapt and for the most part, completely forget that they're online, that, that, that they're not in the same room. You know, I'm a divorce mediator. I have found that people can have an argument through an online platform just as well as they can have it in person. It's a little safer, maybe, because they're in remote locations. Yeah, I, I, I would say that um, once you've figured out how to click the single button that you need to click to join the online uh, platform, um, I mean, that really is the most difficult part is that you have to find that fancy little blue button, click it, and, and you're in the room with, with people in a, a really lovely virtual way. So the trainings that you provide then, describe to me what the training looks like. You know, I do the training just like this. I do it online on Zoom, um, either one-on-one -on -one right now, or I am doing group trainings where I have a number of trainees, um, and I take them through two one-hour sessions. So we schedule one, uh, the first one-hour session, then they have some time in between, and then I actually have them schedule the second session so they can go through the process of setting up their first 
pseudo mediation and use the platform. The first session is really focused on how to use, I use Zoom for my mediation platform. Um, so that's what I train people on it. And it's not so much the, the, how to use Zoom. Um, Zoom itself has wonderful training videos that are free to their users. Um, but what I do is take them through the practical application of Zoom to a mediation um, experience so that they know how to do something like caucusing or how to do breakout conversations or how to use a whiteboard, things that you would do in an in-person mediation. I have not yet found anything that you can do in an in-person mediation other than touch someone, which again may not be called for. Um, everything else can be done in the online platform. So I spend that first uh, hour really going through the practical applications of Zoom to the mediation so that people are comfortable, mediators are comfortable knowing if they need to have their parties in separate rooms, that's a very easy process. It's actually easier for us because we're no longer running up and down a hallway between two different conference rooms. We're just clicking buttons to go back and forth between the two parties. Um, so there's a lot of functionality to it. And you and I are using Zoom right now. I love Zoom. It's easy to use. It's professional. It's reliable. It's intuitive. Um, and so this is a product that I'm really familiar with. And, and, and I can testify for the people that are maybe thinking about taking your class that this is an easy program to launch, to master, to work with, to you can do so many things with this uh, with this product. It's a really, really good one. So if um, if you're watching this video and you think uh, Zoom, I don't really know about that, I can tell you it's a good, good product. I, I Susan's choice is is a good one. Nicely done. So it is really, it's the best one I've found out there. I tried a lot of different ones before I settled on Zoom. Yeah, absolutely. So if people are interested in learning how to apply this to their mediation practice. How do they find out more about your training program? So they can go to my um, website, which is learntomediateonline.com, um, and they can find out some more information on the training, as well as uh, send me a message to get started. I do everything directly because I am doing it one-on-one, -on -one. Um, or they can just reach out to me at susan at learntomediateonline.com, and I'll get back to them through that. Um, I should note I am in the process of turning the two one-hour sessions into a six-module downloadable course so that um, shortly, within I think about a month, a month and a half from now, so uh, before September, I'm hoping to have that uh, on the website and people will then be able to just download the program and, and do it whenever they'd like. Very nice, very, very nice. And then I know that you've really generously offered that if people mention that they saw you on this particular specific video promo, you have a gift for them. What's your gift for them? I do, absolutely. I will take $50 off the price of the um, training. So if anyone wants to reach out again to Susan at Learn to Mediate Online and mention that they saw this video, I'd be happy to take $50 off the training. And as soon as I have the online program on, I will provide a $50 uh, off coupon code that people will be able to put into the checkout. Excellent, that's very generous of you. Very generous, I like that a lot. So one of the other things that you do, still in our same industry, still helping us all be, be better at what we do, is some coaching and consulting. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, that's really an outgrowth of my 30 years as a divorce attorney um, and then a divorce mediator. And now one of the things that I have found that as I've moved around the country and as we started our podcast is that there's a great need for accessible information um, not at a ridiculous cost for people. You know, when I was practicing as a litigator, people were paying hundreds of dollars an hour for time, and my time was very constrained. And now, you know, in the, in, with the online platform available, although I may not be a licensed attorney in every state, I can answer questions based on the general um, understanding of divorce and how divorce, the divorce process works and negotiation and strategy and practical matters. Um, so we've started both an online mediation business as well as 
uh, along with that, we do online coaching for people. So it's not your typical coaching where um, you might be going to a coach to help you maybe with the emotional aspects of the divorce or with um, you know the pulling together of your documents, et cetera. We are really coming at it as to my business partner is also a former divorce attorney. Um, she is a divorce attorney. We're not former. We, we still are, um, but long time top litigator like I am. And um, we are really giving people the benefit of our many years of, of knowledge um, in the industry and helping Helping them. Um, and most recently, we've launched a, uh, we call it coaching through conflict because both of us have done quite a bit of litigation in high conflict divorce situations. And there is that, those are among the most difficult. When you are getting divorced from a high conflict personality, a narcissist, or someone with borderline personality disorder, or, or one of these very serious issues, things go from difficult, which every divorce is, to astronomically horrible. And when you're in the middle of it, it can be very, very hard to get out of, get out of that or understand how to deal with it. So we've actually created our Coaching Through Conflict program, which has eight uh, modules to it, where we take people through very specific um, information on how to manage that high conflict personality. For example, they have a tendency to badmouth you to your children. And that can be a very upsetting and stressful situation. Most people's response is to go to the person who made the comments and tell them they shouldn't do that, it's not good for the children, which is really just going to egg them on and get them to do it more because that's feeding them. So we have actual, you know, set out um, sort of path that you can follow to try and manage that conduct and to help your children as they are put in that situation. So that's one example of something that we cover in our coaching program. And that has been very, very popular. Yeah, that, that's a fantastic program. It's one of those programs that will help you get through a really difficult time or what can be a really difficult time, but the lessons learned can then subsequently be applied for the rest of your life. Absolutely. High conflict people are not just your ex. Yeah. Uh, I have a friend who recently left a job because her boss clearly had some issues and was a high conflict personality and she just couldn't survive in that atmosphere anymore and had to separate herself. You know, healthy boundaries are, are very important. Um, but there, you can run into high conflict people. And by the way, if you have a high conflict spouse in a divorce, but you have children, you are going to be dealing with them forever. So getting into place, understanding the patterns of behavior that high conflict people go through, because they do, there are very set patterns they go through, and then understanding how you manage those patterns and how you manage those behaviors is incredibly liberating and freeing. You're never going to change your high conflict personality. That is who they are but you can manage their behaviors and you can make your life better and your children's life better. And that's why we focus so much on that particular program. Um, and, and, and people have been, you know, have been very pleased with the results. It's a, it, it's a lifeline through such a dark period for people. For many people, for, I don't, for lack of a better word, transformative. A very good word for it. Transformation is actually something that in all of our various um, businesses, our podcasts, we are always focused on the transformation that comes about from ch any change, any difficult time. Uh, the divorce is the difficult time. The change in your behaviors and how you respond to your high conflict personality, X or um, other person in your life, those are the changes that can be transformative and take you to a better place. Without a doubt. So if people are interested in taking this program, what's the best way for them to find it? So we talk about the, both the mediation business and the, the um, online programs, the coaching programs at breakingfreemediation.com. That's our website. And they can find media, uh, information on both the mediation as well as the coaching programs. We do individual coaching sessions uh, by the hour, or we do have the co uh, coaching through conflict program, which is, as I said, um, eight one-hour sessions. 
And then again, we've really generously offered people a discount if they mention this video. Um, you're going to give them an astonishing amount of money um, <laughs> as, a, as a reward for just mentioning that they saw this video. Um, what are you offering people? Well, we're, we're so happy to hear from our clients that the Coaching Through Conflict program has been transformative for them. And so we really want to make it available to people. So we will give you $100 off that coaching program for anyone, again, who mentions uh, that they saw me on, on your program here. And they can reach out to me at susan at breakingfreemediation.com to make arrangements for that discount. That's incredibly generous of you, Susan, really incredibly generous. Um, and I know that um, because you and I have, have been colleagues, it's not a gimmick. Um, it's that you really, really care about getting these programs into the hands of the people that need them and can benefit from them the most. And, and um, so I really appreciate your generosity. Uh, well, I, and I appreciate the opportunity to share this information and to, you know, reach out to people. It's, um, it's really a passion of ours to try to help people who are going through this very difficult time of divorce or separation. Um, we know it can be a dark time. We've been there ourselves and we've been helping people through it. For me, it's been 30 years um, and I really, there, we have learned a lot over this period of time. We know quite a bit about the process and we really would like to help as many people as possible. Absolutely, absolutely. So if you or someone you know is watching this video and can benefit from one of these courses that Susan has been talking about, I will of course give the links to her website, the links to the podcast, her email information, all of that will be down below in the description bar. I encourage you, if you're the person who needs these programs, click the link, take great advantage of Susan's generosity. But if you know someone, a neighbor, a colleague, a fellow congregant, a coworker who needs one of these programs, please share the information and, and let's get these programs into the, the hands of the people who need them the most. Please, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for joining me today, Susan. Thanks again for, um, to all of our viewers for watching and as always, be good humans.